Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we're here to do some Faraday cage testing and in particular multiple Faraday cages. So we're going to put multiple layers of metal screening over that wireless router that you can see in the bottom of the image. And we're going to get readings with these two RF meters. This one is reading millivolts per meter and this one is reading milliwatts per meter squared. So I'm going to plug in the wireless router so we can get a signal. And in a few seconds, the wireless router should switch on and we should see the readings on the meters spike up. So that's just occurred. And we're going to put on our first Faraday cage. So this is a metal plant pot and our foil is currently ungrounded. So I'm going to attach a grounding cable onto the foil and we can see what happens. So the foil is now grounded and that's our reading. So I'm going to disconnect the ground cable and we're going to put on our next Faraday cage. So the ground is now disconnected and here is our second Faraday cage. Again, it's a metal plant pot, just a larger one. So we're currently ungrounded and that's our reading. So I'm going to attach the grounding cable So the grounding cable is now attached to the foil and that's what we're reading. So I'm going to disconnect the ground cable. I'm going to put on our final Faraday cage, which is a trash can. So we're currently ungrounded and that's our reading and I'm now going to connect on the grounding cable and we can see what happens. So it's now grounded. So as you can see, multiple layers of Faraday cages are much better than a single layer of a Faraday cage. And if we were to continue this, we would probably see those readings go almost to zero. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.